Hello and welcome back to the PHP beginner course. So in this tutorial, we'll be looking at how to display and write data to a file. So the coverage here is we're going to be utilizing file get contents, file put contents. So here we have get information from a text file and then put information on a, or in a text file, add data to a text file. And then we have header refresh, and then we're going to be utilizing an if else statement. So here we have the final outcome. Uh, so we're going to be built, building a simple form, a comment uh, submission form here, and we can type some things here, right? For example, press submit, and then a file is going to be created, or in this case, updated. The file is called log, it's a text file. If I go into that, you can see it now matches what we've just typed in from the web page. So let's assume that we don't have a file to begin with. So the first thing we need to do is check to see if a file exists. So here we can use the file exists function. So here we um, have an if else statement. So if the file exists, we're going to do something else. We're going to have to create a file. So if the file exists, I name the file that I'm looking for. So I check to see if the file exists. Now, if the file does exist, I then want to make a variable and store the file inside of the variable. I can then reference that file and then create a new variable and utilize the file get contents, which is going to get the contents of the specified file. Now, in this case, I put the file.txt inside of this variable. So I'm referencing this file from the variable here. So here I get the contents from the text document and I put it into this new variable here called current. So that's what's going to happen if the statement is true here, if the file does exist. But what I need to do first is check to see if there is a file. And of course, if there isn't a file, then I need to make a file. So to create a new file, I can use f open. So here I create a new variable, my file, and that equals f open command F open, and this is going to make a new file called log.txt. So we do have a few options here. Now you can see in the notes that F open, uh, we can include the file name, uh, the mode. In this case, I've selected the mode W. And then we can also include uh, two separate um, parameters. The first is the include path. So we can specify the path. And then the last is the context. So there are around about seven or eight different possible values for the, the mode here. Um, I've used W, which represents write only. So this is just going to uh, open um, the file or create a file. In this case, we want to create a new file um, and the file doesn't exist. So therefore, um, this is now going to create the new file log.txt. Okay, so now we go down to um, refreshing the page. So what's going to happen here then is that the user is going to land on the page. If the file doesn't exist, the else statement is then initiated and a new file log.txt is created. Now, after it's created, what we want to do is refresh the page again, because then when we refresh the page, the file will exist and then we'll be able to collect the information ready to then write to the file. So here we use the header option and the refresh colon zero. So the colon zero representing the delay until the refresh happens. Okay, so now we're going to create a simple form. So here we've got some form tags. The action of this form is that when we submit this form, it's going to be the information is going to be sent by post over to the process.php page. So we're just collecting information here, then sending it across to the process.php page via post. Okay, so we're going to need a submit button. So in this case, a simple input type equals submit will suffice. And then we need to make a text area so we can edit the data. So here we define uh, a text area element, uh, rows 20 in columns. So just the size of the text area, if you want to change that. The name, so that's going to be the ID reference or variable reference when we send it across via post. So the data inside of this text area is going to be referenced by the um, the word name when we send it via post. 
and then the value. So we don't need anything there. Okay. Um, okay, so now to some PHP. Um, now, if you remember here, we collected the file. So we got all the file contents and we stored it in the variable called current. So down here, we echo out current inside the text area. So when the user enters the page, um, the file already has the data from the text file displayed on the screen. Okay, so now let's see this code in action. So you can see here on my server, I've got my two files, index and process. And now I've gone to the page, I'm gonna refresh this page and go back to my file system. And you can see now he's created a file called log.txt. So we know that the, the page is working here, so it couldn't find a file and therefore it created a new file, it refreshed, and then it got all the information it needs uh, to get the data from the text file. In this case, there's nothing in the text file. And then that's what we're displaying in the text area. So the next thing we need to do is update the text file. So here's just a simple example of a method post. So we're gonna take this information, when someone types submit, all that data is gonna be sent to the process.php page. Okay, so someone submitted some data from the form. The data gets sent across and notice here it says comment equals post data comment. So going back here, um, I mentioned the name. So this is the reference point um, we can use to, to get the data that someone's typed in. So this gets sent via post and then we look into the post variable and then we can extract the information from comment, which is whatever someone's typed in to the form. So now we store that in the new variable called comment. So now we have the data from the user. What we need to do is get the file. So the file exists. Um, so we create a new variable called file equals log.txt. And then what we do is we then put that data inside the file. So we utilize the file put contents function here. And what we need is the file name. So we insert that into this parameter here. And then the second parameter is the actual information that someone's typed in, which is sent across via the post method here and stored in this variable. So um, now what we need to do once we've completed the task is then to send the user back to the previous page so they can see what they've just edited or the text that they've just added. So now we should have a really basic text editor almost. Um, so if we I just refresh the page again and create the uh, file, there we go. So the file has been made by refreshing the page. Now I'm going to type in hi and then press submit and go back to the file. And there we go. So it's working. I can then add some more. My name is, my name is, press submit and then go back into the log file. And there we go. So that's a really simple example of a few different technologies here. Okay, so that was it to display and write data to a file. Um, we've used the get contents, the file put contents. Um, we've used fopen um, to create the file, a header refresh, and incorporated that with some variables and if else statements.